Hey, so it's been a while since I've made one of these videos, but I've gotten dry on my video ideas. So this is another installation to my series where I pick a champion and I play them for some games. And then hopefully I come to the conclusion if they're broken or balanced. But of course, today we have Senna. Um, so yeah, let's begin. So, uh, to get straight into it, I did play seven games on Senna and I did end up with a 71% win rate. So I only lost two games and, and of course I did play her as an ADC. So for my first game on Senna, I did get destroyed by this vein. I guess that applies to a lot of champions when you first try them out is you're not going to be good with them. And even as I'm doing this voiceover now senna is a pretty straightforward champion but i had never seen any gameplay on her and i had never played her of course this is my first time ever playing senna so bear with me but yeah i uh i finished the game with almost the same cs as my support so if that didn't give it away um yeah i got completely gapped gg So after getting completely gapped, I took a break and I started watching some videos on how to play Senna because I had a feeling that I wasn't playing the champion correctly. And the following game, I did really well. And I think by the second game, I had already understood kind of how Senna worked. Um, pretty much the idea behind Senna is to just keep farming souls and try to increase your attack range. Pretty much just try to scale as much as possible. And she isn't that strong early game, but she does get better in the late game. Okay. He's gonna get out, Adam. Okay. He's gonna turn on a collie. Nice. Do it. Bro, right, Ian, for the love of God, please, Ian, go for their backline, Ian. Please. Bro, what do you mean? I was literally to one the, the whole entire fight last game or last fight. No, Ian, like, please, dude, for the love of God, go for them. Freak, no. That guy's gonna one tap me. Well, how is he gonna one tap if I'm the one taking the blunt of the hit, bro? <laughs> <laughs> just trust me, Adam. Oh, no, you know. The, the Thresh is like over there just fighting for his life, bro. <laughs> I'm coming, so, Lois. Why are you guys like. Where, where bro, did they go? I, I swear to god, oh, bro, this gun weighs more than my character. That I have. I'm Senna. How much range does. So, like I said, game two ended up in a victory. The following game was also a victory. And I didn't die the entire game for game three. I went zero deaths and seven kills. So I positioned myself really well. The following game, I also got another victory. And once again, I did really well. I dropped 12 kills, four deaths, and I even got MVP. And yet. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Jacks. So, for the sake of time, I don't want to go over every game, but I believe I have pretty much formed a solid conclusion on Senna. I think she is not broken, at least not anymore. Two months ago, 100% she was broken, but to say now that she's a weak character, um, you'd be lying to yourself. She is balanced. Um, if you don't take her down and you don't focus her, she can be broken in the sense that she can do damage and you can't do damage back to her. But that's why certain champions are good into certain team comps and other champions are terrible into certain team comps. It all really boils down to if you have an assassin or not. But I think that pretty much wraps up the video. Um, thank you for watching. And if anyone wants to suggest a video, uh, leave any video ideas in the comments. Goodbye.